In this video, we will learn how geysers are formed. Geysers are like hot springs, where hot underground water comes out of the ground. The only difference between a geyser and a hot spring is that a geyser looks like a fountain. The reason hot water gushes out like a fountain is because the water opening near the surface is narrow. If you have some idea about plumbing, you would know that a fountain requires a pump with high pressure and narrow opening. That is how water can gush out. Similar principle can be observed in a natural geyser. On the other hand, in a hot spring, water circulates to the surface and moves freely. There is no fountain. It only gives off steam and heat. I hope you understood the difference. Now the question is, how does the water of a geyser become hot? When underground water comes in contact with rocks that are heated by magma, you have to keep in mind that the heat needed for geyser formation has to be close to the surface of the earth. This is also called geothermal heated water. The hot water then rises towards the surface by the process of convection. What happens is that when water gets heated up, the pressure forces the underground water to gush out through a narrow opening. And this warm water comes out to the surface through porous and fractured rocks that have narrow opening. These porous fractured rocks act as a tube-like hole in the earth's surface that runs deep into the crust. You have to go at least 2 to 3 km beneath the surface of the earth. Only then water can be in contact with hot rocks. You will find many geysers around the world located near rivers because that is where the groundwater is adequate. Then you will also find many geyser fields located near active volcanic areas. You will find many geysers located at the edges of tectonic plates. After all, any kind of natural fracture in earth's crust due to tectonic activity is similar to digging up a tube well for extracting water. So this is how geysers are formed.